We have now the basic Black Shores formula for the vanilla call option and put option also if you use uh, put call parity. Let's see how we can extend this to some other situations still in the Black Shores Merton model. So the first thing we are going to do is dividends. And we are going to look at two cases, none of which is necessarily very realistic, maybe in some situations, but they are, they are very tractable and they can give you an approximate answer to the question. The, the first case is going to be dividends paid at a continuous rate. So basically it's as if the stock, in addition to having its uh, own mu return rate, it also has a kind of a continuously compounded rate of return, uh, which would be uh, dividends being paid at that rate. Okay, uh, which means that we, the, the total value, total gains that you have from holding the stock, call it G of T, is how much you can sell the stock for, which is S of T, and plus the total value of um, cumulative value of dividends which is going to be assumed to be of this form okay so we assume that the total value of dividends up to time t from time zero and that we are assuming that dividends are reinvested uh, is equal to the integral q s of u d u okay? that's what it means that they are paid at a continuous rate q a constant continuous rate q all right, so what is going to happen here turns out that in this case the under the risk neutral pricing probability the discount the stock price will not be a martingale because of the extra dividends when we discount the stock price there will be an extra term in the drift and and uh, the drift even under the under the pricing probability the drift will not be zero and therefore the discount stock price is not a martingale so what we have to do we have to make the discounted wealth process a martingale we know that always works if that if we can do that that's our pricing probability let's look at the wealth process the wealth process is going to be the dynamics of the wealth process is is here the x the change in in your wealth process is this is the, the, the bank account term which we had before. Uh, money in the bank, x minus pi, is, pi is the money in the stock, so x minus pi is money in the bank. Over b would be number of shares, if you want, in quotation marks in the bank, times the change of the bank account value, db. Plus, here before we had pi over s, which was the number of shares in the stock, and we had ds, but now it's going to be dg because our gains and losses come both from the stock price and from the dividends. Okay? So it's going to be DG, not DS. Before we had DS, now it's going to be DG. So I just substitute. DB over B is, uh, is RDT. Uh, this DG, well, what is DG? Uh, okay, let's just compute that. DG is going to be DS, right? And then d kills the integral, right? differentiation kills the integral, so I'm just going to have plus q s dt. And that's what my g, dg is, it's ds plus q s dt. So you plug that in, you substitute for it, and we get this. Okay. We get this, which looks the same as before, except there is an extra, you know, we, we add to the mu, to the return rate of the stock, we add the rate of the, the rate dividend rate, which is intuitive. You know, if I'm holding a pi, the amount in the stock, not only am I getting the, the benefit of uh, the return rate, uh, expected return rate of the stock price, but also uh, the dividends. Okay, and, and now we can see that. We, we, we want the discounted wealth process to be a martingale, which means we want this. Okay? By the same, same logic we did for the stock, you want to have Rx dt term here, 
because when you discount then you, you're going to get minus rx dt term which will cancel this one and you will have zero of, uh, in the dt term and therefore a martingale okay so what we want is rx dt plus pi sigma dw superscript q for some q okay if you if you uh, make this equal to this it's an easy computation to check that your wq has to be w plus t mu plus q minus r over sigma okay? F first you get dwq then you integrate and you get this this is what we did before also with uh, when we were talking about gisano theorem so same thing here the only thing is instead of mu we will have mu plus q okay so this is kind of an adjusted adjusted sharp ratio if you want it's a uh, x return of the stock plus the return of the dividends minus the risk free return over the standard deviation of the log returns over the volatility of the stock okay so it's very similar to before everywhere where we had mu i have mu plus q now uh, fine so i know now how my wq looks like but that means that I can also see uh, how the stock looks like under the pricing probability. Okay. So how the stock looks like under the pricing probability. And again, it's a, it's a simple algebra to show that the stock looks like this. Okay. So I if the stock looks like, if you are in the Black-Scholes model, okay, so if ds is equal to s, mu dt plus dw then from this previous slide uh, you can see that the uh, w is equal to dw superscript q minus mu uh, this is a mess here as so a minus mu plus q minus r over sigma dt right so uh, I, if I do that and replace dw here by this guy, mu and mu will cancel, but I will have r minus q. Sigma and sigma will cancel. There is a sigma missing here. Okay. Sigma and sigma will cancel, mu and mu will cancel, but I will get r minus q here. Okay. So uh, the, the black Scholes model for the stock under the pricing probability becomes this. It's uh, r mu gets replaced by r minus q so before we had just r instead of mu now we have r minus q this is just because in theory the stock when it pays dividends to have no arbitrage the stock should immediately the stock value should immediately go down uh, by the value of the paid dividends and since here the dividends are paid at time dt the, the dividend is exactly s times q dt we are just subtracting the dividends here. Okay? Uh, when they are paid, you subtract them from the stock value. That's the intuition. But the mathematics is as what I explain here. Okay, so we have we have this for the stock. And then you can either do the partial differential equation method or you can do the martingale pricing, risk neutral pricing method. Uh, we, we know now that everywhere where we had r in, in the formulas for s, we have r minus q. Okay? I'm going to show only the partial differential equation way, but it would be similar as before using the uh, martingale pricing, risk neutral pricing. All right, so before uh, in, we had in the partial differential equation, Black Scholes partial differential equation we had uh, uh, r in two places we had r c multiplying scs the, the delta of the option and also we had minus rc now this r is not going to change because this was from discounting uh, discounting when computing the price we still discount by r but this r will become r minus q why because that r came from here it came from the dynamics of the stock when you do Ito's rule and the first derivative multiplies the drift of the stock. Okay? So that's, that's why this R becomes R minus Q. Okay? Uh, 
All right. Uh, so now we have the partial differential equation, or we could also get the formula for uh, S of capital T from this uh, from this uh, equ equation, and then we could compute the expected value under the Q probability under the risk neutral probability. And uh, if you do the computations, uh, what happens is you get this formula down here for call option. You don't, you don't even have to look at it carefully. There is only one change. Wherever you had S before, now you have, which was the current stock price, now you have S times e to the minus Q times time to maturity. Okay? So wherever we had S, now it's S discounted by the dividend rate. Okay? The value of the option, as for the forward contract we talked about before, the value of the option, uh, call option is going to be lower uh, because when the stock pays dividends, because we are not going to be getting those dividends uh, until uh, the maturity of the option when we exercise and get the stock. Uh, but we, we are foregoing, we are missing on those dividends before, and therefore the, the value of the option is actually lower uh, if the stock pays dividends if, uh, compared to when it doesn't. The way it's lower, you reduce the stock price by discounting it with e to the minus q capital T minus lowercase t. Okay? So otherwise the Black Scholes formula looks the same. And okay, here I had s, now when I do s to this exponential, the log will kill the exponential and I get this minus q t minus t uh, in here. Okay? So there is an additional minus q here with this r but not with this R because th this R came from discounting. Yeah, that's all, it ha all that happens. Easy enough. We compute uh, the dividends. Uh, we compute the dividends, uh, uh, the, the option pricing formula with, with continuously paid dividends. Let me also tell you about discreetly paid dividends. I'll just tell you uh, the, the way uh, the formula is obtained without proving it. Uh, assume now uh, the other extreme in which the dividends are paid discreetly at known times with uh, known values, which means that it's completely deterministic. We know the dividend payments in the future. Therefore, we can compute the, the uh, present value or the discounted dividends and we denote it by the bar of t. Okay, so you still use the same Black Scholes formula, uh, except uh, you replace S, the stock price, by S minus discounted dividends. Okay, this is consistent with the Black Scholes model, but in a, in a slightly different form. In this case, if you look at the process SG, uh, which is stock minus the present value of dividends, if you assume that that process um, e, uh, that process follows uh, Black Scholes model. Then the way to price uh, the options in this model is by simply putting in instead of S into the option pricing formula, you just put S minus discounted dividends minus the present value of dividends. And you still reduce the stock price, but you you reduce it by subtracting the present value of dividends rather than by multiplying by the exponential to the minus rate of dividends. Okay, and that's how it works with dividends. Easy enough, slight modifications.